Jets back at it, second and 15 in a 17 nothing game. With Thomas Jones capped off that seminal uh, package moment, but there was Sanchez's first pick of the day. Sooner or later, you're going to make a mistake. You get comfortable and you say, I can get it in there, and he, he'd like to have that one back. Dominic Barber's the one who picked up the fumble from John Bussing, who created the turnover to begin with. Manicure. Comes down the field, six plays down, and then... Oh, mm, not him. Bagged by Darren Sharper with this run. He will not only go prime time later. Yes, he will. But he becomes just the second player in history with a pick six of over 90 yards twice in the same season. Mm. The other one is Nesbitt. Wasn't that an Eddie Murphy movie? Nesbitt. Well, the Jets are backed up. Get rid of it. Oh, he will the Smith sacks Mark Sanchez. He is a rookie. It. Remy Adel recovers it, and uh, two rookie mistakes by Mark you Sanchez. You got to get rid of it. Yeah, the first half. Can't sit back there very long. Sets defense this year in the third and 21. Down two scores, four minutes to go. Sanchez has to try and make a play. And who gets him again but Darren Sharper. Mm. Anticipate. He anticipates well. This gives it right back and then some. Pick six by nice Lee Bosman. Nice cover. Way to break on that. Holding in one hand, coach. Yeah. Bosman had three. He really didn't hold it up. Well, he held it wide. Yeah, just kind of halfway. Three intercepts like it was September. But every time the Jets got the ball back, Sanchez couldn't do much with it. And then he would away, Mark. this way. Away, Mark. Away. Not there. Mm. Brandon Merriweather picked Sanchez. Four of this wrapped up, right? Right. Well, you never know. Well, Mark Sanchez, whenever he threw the ball, very little no. good things happened. At Braylon Edwards. It was his third interception of the game at this point. Two of them by that guy, Jarius Bird. And the Bills would turn where he gets the ball back. Edwards looks for Braylon Edwards again. Uh, pardon me, Sanchez for Edwards. You can't stare him down though. Yeah, this right. happens now when you got a young quarterback trying to get the ball to his go-to guy, and he's forcing it in there a little bit. The length of the field and try and get a field goal, which as you've seen is no gimme. And it's Sanchez's third pick of the day. Rex Ryan after the game said, quote, we're obviously out of the playoffs, and that's unfortunate. And it's the Chargers, they decide to go for it. Nope, they kick the field goal, go up 13, 30 to 17. And then oh. there's a tip ball as the Jets uh, try to go down the field to try and make this a game and an interception all year. Don't Sanchez it, has had a clean slate Rich. all year. Mark Sanchez. Rich. What do you say about like that, Rich? Oh, just don't you yeah, jinxed him. Get down, kid. kid. Jason Hunter picks off Sanchez, but the Broncos would fumble. Tebow's first career touchdown would come against the Jets on a run. Right. Goodness gracious. So now there's two picks for Mark Sanchez on the season with 48 ticks left in the half. Saquon Thompson picks off Jets third and 14 from their own 46. Sanchez Three with a minute 44 to go. This worked in Denver to hold, throw it up, hope for the best this time. Joe Hayden picks it off, and that's a crucial, crucial interception. Not because it stops the Jets drive, but it's when not Sanchez throws a pick when the Jets get the ball back. Oh boy, Kevin Bentley, Bentley with the pick. Is that a Bentley or Cadillac? Led to a Neil Rack in the arm. But let's face it, that was like his third third target on that play. Well, Jets down 24-3 at halftime. This is not the way they wanted to start the second half play act this year against the Jets. They're 30th in the league in interceptions, and that's a problem. Now, this is the kind of night it was for Mark Sanchez. Under throws Edwards, Devin McCourty. Monday night. They've used three in this ball game between Crumpler, Fernandez, and Gronkowski. 38-3 New England, and the onslaught is officially on. Sanchez picked off again, this time James Sanders. Sanchez's third interception of the night. One to go, so the Jets now have one last chance. 58 seconds left, no timeouts, and Sanchez. Oh, Pat Holmes, but Chris Harris was there. Bears win it 38-34. Eventually, they're nice. forced to punt. Back. Here's the next Jets possession with 29 seconds left. Mark Sanchez is intercepted. Yeah, but that's a JJ Watt play. Like, JJ just tips this ball. Block someone 33. <laughs> it's a touchdown. Please, somebody block 29. Have some away. And it's an eight yard loss. Now, we still have time. This is right before the two minute warning. Sanchez oh, in and out of the hands the of Jeff Cumberland. And it's picked off by Kareem Jackson. Go down, son. Second and six. 
Sanchez under pressure and then has it picked off at the 15-yard line. Picked off by the former Charger, Steve Gregory. Oh, years ago, we talked to Tom Moore, then in Indianapolis, the offensive coordinator. You got a busted play here. And then, oh, no. and then Sanchez gets hit. The ball is loose, and it's alive. And then going into the end zone is Steve Gregory, who's had an interception, two fumble recovery. Looking for Jeremy Curley instead. It's picked off by Kerry Rhodes, the ex-Jet. Makes the interception, hits the upright, no good. Jets next possession, Sanchez looking for Jeff Cumberland. Instead, finds Kerry Rhodes. If Kerry Rhodes is playing wide receiver for the Jets, Sanchez will be having a great day. Second quarter, no score. Sanchez looking for Chaz Shillings. Instead, this is a phenomenal athletic play by Patrick Peterson, though. What you tell him? Now 36. Third quarter, Sanchez picked off by Julius Peppers, who became the first player with at least 100 sacks and four pick sixes. And watch the big fella with the athleticism just this not even using his hands. Nine touchdowns, no picks. And then it just got even uglier. Uh, I'll pick it up, Casey yes. Hayward. That's back-to-back -back 50 burgers for the first time in Packers history. Oh, the Eagles and the Eagles lead 14 to nothing. Three Eagles possessions later, Mark Sanchez. And guess what? And the Eagles lead 34 to 17. Next Eagles possession, Sanchez steps up into the pocket. I mean, wildly overthrows his receiver there. It's intercepted by Damian Stafford. So six interceptions. Oh, that's a bad dude, man. He just looks like he won't hurt. But don't worry, Sanchez would give it back. The rolled Simon, two turnovers for the Eagles, who are held to a total. Did make a field goal, a 22-yarder. We were tied at 24. No. Eagles get it back again and turn it back Say over it late so. in the fourth quarter. Bashad Breeland on the pick. Back, which is the hardest thing to fill. Second and 10. Here is Sanchez against a pressure and an athletic interception. I think it was Hicks. It was. Here's Sanchez to throw it on first down. And it's intercepted again by Philadelphia. Packers, who are trying to end a pregame losing skid. And that pass is intercepted. Curtis Riley with a Giants touchdown. Trying to overcome negative yardage. Sanchez. And that's intercepted by Ogletree. His fifth interception of this season. He fights to try to get to the